Well hello, welcome to another Rider Cam TV video. And today we thought we'd talk all about helmets. Shall I throw this one away? No, that's a good helmet. Where shall I put it then? Just next to you. Oh, okay, there. Hello, helmet. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is the Scorpion ADX2 helmet. So if you'd have seen previous videos, I can't remember when they, they would have been out. Are you this... still wearing half your Santa suit? I am. Yeah, this ADX1 um, broke. The chin thing broke, so I had to send it back. But I needed a helmet the very next day because I was out with associates. So I bought the ADX2. I thought I'd give that a try. And wow. If I is that a wow? Yeah. Wow. I didn't think they'd be able to improve on that one because this is such a good helmet, the ADX1. It fits good. You've got really good view. It's sturdy. It's just a really good helmet. And that was like 140, 150 quid. This is now taking place. No, this place. is 180. No, they're, they're about 140, oh, they 150 are now about quid 140 now. 140 quid, yeah. Um, this was about 180 quid, 180, 190, something like that. So it doesn't break the bank. But this helmet, I've got to say, is so well, then comfortable. Say it. say it. It's so comfortable. So let's talk about comfort first. Inside, it's like a real, it's like a smooth neoprene um, inserts, which are very different to that one. I don't know whether you are can we gonna open that one. Are we going to compare them? Yeah, yeah. Or not? Yeah, why not? All right, okay. So this this one, it's like a nylony thing. Isn't it's it? like nylony type thing. It's obviously different colour, but this one is really, really smooth. And the first thing I took from it when I put it on is how much it was almost like velour velour velour, velour like but, jazz yeah like jazz hands <laughs> but on the bottom if you can see this one has got two side panels and the back bit that goes across the top this one has also got two side panels and the the head cover but <coughs> excuse it's me got this bit that joins the two side panels that fits snugly around your neck so it's even quieter than that helmet. Ah, I like that. It's a really good Do idea. You know, you, you can probably still buy them. Years ago, you used to be able to buy a neck dam for, for the winter. You oh, used yeah. To, you used to put around the base of your helmet. It's like a, a tube you put, you put your helmet inside to cut down. It was for cold, but it used to cut the noise down as oh. well. But they've, all, they've thought, you know, I, I have seen this sort of thing on different helmets like the much more expensive shoe berths. They've got this sort of thing. I don't oh, okay. think the shoeies have got them, I'm not sure, but the shoe bursts that I've seen have got these almost neck-hugging neoprene things. And it, it makes it so much more quieter. When I put it on, it felt so snug. The only thing that I did notice when I put it on is that compared to that one, I'm gonna put it on now, is that it seemed as though this bit was further back than that, it seems that this uh, was a little yeah, bit yeah, longer yeah. and comes round a little bit further. This, the chin, the cheek. Thing. Yeah, so where it's on my cheek, yeah. it f that one feels like it's about there. So this feels more open. Try it. Which was a bit strange. Try it. Let's try it. Now I've got a visual reference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does, comes a lot further in. Yeah, so the, the other one, was back about here, wasn't it? Yeah, it's cut so that, away. That took a bit of getting used to, but I really quite like it. Well, the reason they've probably done that is in the case of, in, are you going to put it back on again or what? <laughs> nope. In, the, uh, in case of an accident, if it's like that, more exposed, it's easier to take oh, it yeah, off. Yeah, that's quite easy to, to slide your helmet yeah. off. Well, that's so. true. Um, so that is much, much more comfortable. Now they have, change the place that they have for the sun visor which is the only thing i don't really quite like because it's a slider down the side oh uh, yeah so that slider is there and it's really easy to use whereas the other one was here yeah so they've moved that but sometimes you like knock it slightly and you put it on and you've got to then push it up or get it out of the way that's only getting used to things but the reason that they've moved it is because this one is now compliant with the new regu regulations for riding with your helmet open. A PNJ. That's clip. it. PNJ clip. So it literally just clips in with that red clip, and now it's locked, and it's it can conform into everything that you need it to. Conform so to. to ride with your helmet like that, and you haven't got a PNJ lock clip, whatever you call it, 
is actually illegal in the yeah. UK. Not many people know that. I spoke yeah. to a policeman because their old Shuri helmets never used to have the P&J lock on them. And I said, you, isn't it illegal if you don't? Do? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're, they're, they're bringing it in across the range of yeah. loads of stuff now. So, it, so for 180 odd quid, you know, you might, you might spend about 200 quid, but for a two, sub 200 pound helmet, you're getting something that lots of the major manufacturers are only now doing. K Bergs have had it for years, haven't they? They've yeah. always had them. Yes, it's really, really good. Um, what? I'm just looking at your. Is that new? Yes. So, the <laughs> o- the only pro. See, we used to have Interphone uh, tours and Interphone events, where you could put the clip on the unit unclipped, and it just um, plugged in, didn't it? So yeah, you yeah. could take it from helmet to helmet. Trouble is now you can't do it, and I had a stonking deal because I bought the helmet. At the same time, or well, bought that at the same time as the helmet, I had like 50 or 60 quid off that. So it wasn't much more expensive than the Yukon 4. That? This is the Interphone Yukon 16 ah. with all the mesh. Uh, it's got a little aerial that sticks up. It's got all the mesh and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Longer battery life. Same battery in there because we bought extra batteries for hours, didn't we, for touring. Yeah. Um, and you can start mesh conversations and do loads and loads of stuff. So that's really good. So I had to buy one of those, which is a pain. But this helmet has become my go-to. So even though I've used that for the last year, that's going to be my helmet for recording um, because you can't get a chin mount at the moment for the ADX2. You can only get it for the ADX1. Um, So my recording helmet when we're out reviewing bikes would be this one really comfy but everything else i'm going to go over to this one it's just so so comfortable fit in everything is a breeze inside there's slots everywhere for your um there's like indents for the speakers to go in um, where your ears would go but there's also a bit of a slot in the back there if you were to put a battery in because adx or scorpion do their own um comm system Oh. And their own comm system fits in this little triangle. So you could buy that and that, this triangle flips out. I don't want to take it out because it's kind of stuck in, you know, the wire stuck over it. Um, but it fits in there. It's got the three buttons on it. It comes with everything else. There's a slot in the back to put the battery rather than sticking it out on the back. So they're not only just a helmet now, they're a helmet with a. I'm an a little bit wary about thing. Helmets that have inbuilt comms into them. I had a BMW helmet, they had a BMW Bluetooth system. It's garbage. But the thing is, nowadays, I mean, the, I don't like the CADA systems. Scala. Are they called Scala? Oh, there's so many different Scala CADAs and that sort of thing. <laughs> um, Scala Rider, aren't they? Yeah. I don't like those because it doesn't seem that the unit will stick somewhere. You have to have this thing that clamps it to your um, helmet, which then ends up being down here somewhere and it ends up catching on you and oh, I don't yeah. like that. The interphones and the seamers it's quite big though. they're it's all exactly the, yeah they're all exactly the same you know. The um, menu systems are all running this, the same way. If you look at this system against the Cena SN10 I think it is the really small one the only difference on the whole system is the buttons. Yeah. So I reckon that all these manufacturers, as good as they are, are probably using a lot of the same stuff. There's only so many buttons in yeah. the world, aren't there? And these ones, the interphones, specifically will tour, uh, will connect or um, pair up with Cena headsets. So it's a bit fishy, isn't it, really? You're not a conspiracy theorist, for God's yeah. sake, are you? But anyway. really, really comfy helmet. I think... It is slightly heavier than that one, but we're talking like grams. We're talking like no grams at all, but it's slightly heavier. Um, The air flow is a little bit different in this one. So we've got the front, um, the front, um, what do you call that? Vent. Vent. We'll call it a chin vent, shall we? Where you can have it open. That's what they call them. Or you can have, so you can have it open, you can have it on medium. I guess, or you can have it closed, and I always have it open, but inside, and I doubt whether I'll be able to, you'll be able to see it on the camera, inside here, 
there's actually another switch in there that you can open on the inside. So I don't know whether you can see that. So you can open it on the inside as well as the outside. Have you seen that? Oh. So the air will come in and because of the mechanism of oh, the that's plastic. that's going to go straight into your face then. Yeah, so the air will come in <clears throat> and be dissipated around the side, I would have thought, unless you've got that open and it'll come straight in at your mouth. Wow. I've ridden in really cold weather. So I think the coldest I rode was, it was like two degrees when I started riding. It soon warmed up, but cold weather, toasty warm inside, didn't really feel cold other than it just being cold. With the visor open, it was almost like my ha face was going to freeze instantly, but that was the only thing. Um, it's really easy to take all of these bits out. They're clipped in really, really well. And to fit the headset didn't take very long at all. The only annoying thing is, if you want to use your own headset, because they come with this proprietary triangle thing where you can buy your, their own intercom yep. system, that then gets in the way. So if you have got a clamp or something that needs to go in, perhaps you need to clamp it to the other side. There is space in there, but not very much. That does come out and there is space to clamp up in behind. What I would have liked to have seen is, is that not being so much in the way? Because if Could you're you... not going to buy that, I've had to stick this right up the top to get it flat so that it's... Can stick it on there. Well, I thought about sticking it on there thought about sticking it on there but the trouble is if you stick it on there and this comes it loose off, yeah. it's dangling everywhere so I went for just sticking it a little bit higher but I guess that's the same with every helmet you it's get a helmet and you've got a compromise where you put stuff and in hindsight that one would have fitted better on this helmet wouldn't it I guess because that one would have fitted sit, sat there quite nicely but it comes with all of the same oh we were talking about airflow weren't we yep so Again, you've got a vent at the top, and this vent's slightly different. So looking down through the visor, it comes up through here, and then you've got your clip, or your, your vent lock, which is good. So it actually comes in underneath the visor, the wind will come in here, up through, and then you have got a, an exit hole for it to go. Which is slightly different. Which is ever so slightly different. I mean, you can see where they've evolved from that helmet to that one, can't you? Yeah. You can see the, the similarities of them. I just, Still a big wide visor. Yeah. And this, again, can be taken off. It's just a simple screw. They have made the screws a little bit better. So I don't know whether you can get a bit closer to the camera, Mark, with that one. This screw has got much more of an indent in there than that one. So that you can actually get something in and you can actually use your thumb. All right. Oh, okay. Which is quite I see good. Yeah, Whereas yeah. that one's more, um, it's more beveled out, so you can't actually get anything in it. 50p doesn't thing. fit in there properly. No, 20p is good for that one, okay. penny, isn't it? Um, yeah, and they come with the plastic bit, so you can take this off and just ride without it. And, and that's how it comes in the box. And initially I thought, I'll ride with, without it. And I thought, no, it's good, because in the summer, or any weather really, in the winter, when the sun you is low, low winter sun. Just dipping your head a little bit, that really does shade you. Because you ride with the sun visor all the time, don't you? All the time. Whereas I tend not to. But... We should wear sunglasses more. No, we should. Really, really wide uh, field of view as well. And because the helmet... I'm not sure whether it's any further back, actually. I think they're the same. Probably, probably the same. Um, you've got all this field of view, which is about there on me. So you've got that <laughs> peripheral view, haven't you? What? It's about there on me. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an owl. <laughs> but it gives you all that peripheral view. The sun visor drops down really quite low. See that, Mark? See how low that is? Oh, hey, I do like a low visor. Let's just, oh, look. Yeah, it's lower, isn't it? Oh, no, about the same. But it's below the level of the, of the um, the nozzle, the, yeah, the helmet. Rubber. A lot, there's quite a few that finish a little bit higher than that. Yeah. This hasn't got a, oh it has, it's got a bigger nose hole, nose cut out there. And I've not noticed it hitting my cheek, my nose or anything. No. Really, really good. And the visor has got one, two, th 
three and it's clipped. So the same on the old one. Um, they don't look particularly different, but what I see on this one is that the cur it's not so angular because now they're a little bit more curved. And I did find it hard to find these bits actually for the first couple of times I rode it. There's a couple of little nibs there so you can open the helmet. Once you get used to it, it's all right. But I always ride with it open unless it's absolutely handing down with rain. But I find it just a really comfortable helmet. I, I, we've always said, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a good yeah. helmet. And you don't see this on a lot of um, other helmets. I mean, a lot of helmets still got those D-rings, haven't they? People like them. I can't stand them. <laughs> but this has got the ratchet system. Now, you do compromise because some of them have got metal, haven't they? Yeah. These are plastic, but they do clip in really, really well, really easily. <laughs> but what I do like about these scorpions even on the last one but on this one you get that neoprene cover that when you've got it done up you've actually got that neoprene cover that is helping it's give you some your comfort chin. around your chin it's on your chin yeah. which is really nice and it's adjustable to your liking as well reason <coughs> like these is if you're ever in an accident and somebody comes along and they're paramedics, they know what they're doing. They haven't got a fight with something that they don't necessarily know about. That couldn't be easier, could it really? Do you know what? There's a, a forum that I go on sometimes. Oh no. <laughs> Excuse, me. Excuse me for coughing. And somebody was showed a picture of their helmet. I can't remember what helmet it was, but whatever helmet it was had a red opener you know where you press the opener to yeah. open it like that we've got the red one here and he said he hated it so much he painted it black and you go the reason it's red is because that shows in an accident people that's what you got to pull push whatever to um to open it you know they've made it black all right but well, yeah well this but the is fact is that you know, he painted it black because he didn't mm. like the colour. You just think, well, that's a bit dim, really. It's strange, isn't it? People will do whatever they want to do. But on that one, it is red, and you yep. lift it out. That lifts out. This one pushes up, pushes in. Uh, OK. And, and it feels easier to use when you're on your bike, so you push it in and up. That one, never really noticed it until I had this one, because you would pull it up. This one, you push it up, if that makes I'm sense. I'm surprised it's... you haven't made it red, though. Yeah, it is a bit I mean, weird. That's why that's it red. It is a bit weird. And they've... They've elongated this chin, chin guard as well. And it's made of a, like a neoprene type thing, whereas yeah. this one is a mesh. And I've never had a problem with either of them. No. What I did notice about this one, though, is if I can open it, Mark. Oh, no, it wasn't this one. It was the Kberg. The Kbergs have got these. I was going to say how the, bad they were. Yeah, and they, they were really off. bad because when they fit into the helmet in here, <coughs> they're constantly coming loose, aren't they? Yeah. These are actually, as far as I can make out, they're actually... It's part of this. In, sandwiched in between the actual shell, aren't they? Yeah, and the, the inner workings of the opening. You I like really it, then? Like, I really, really like it. It's so comfortable. And look, hear this, look. See how easy that is. And that's what you need, isn't it? You don't want to be fighting with that when you're riding along. Did it smell all right? Yeah, it did. Weird. <laughs> three yeah. like but uh, the functionality of the helmet not only is it good to be seen I, that's why i like white you can see it a mile off there's places for your ice tags and stuff everywhere which is really really good they've got these scorpion labels on as well now so there's one up here on top rather than there and this one didn't have any on did it oh no, yeah, it's got, one the front. got one on the forehead just in there other than that, I think they're really good. I think you can see where this has evolved from that. Yeah. And I actually prefer this one. You know when you get, you know when you're riding and you get really comfortable with the stuff you've got. <laughs> Sorry, I was yawning there. Oh, was it that boring? No, oh. just tired. You, you get really comfortable with the stuff that you get, don't you? Like a pair of old shoes, it takes ages to chuck them away because they're the most comfy. Same with helmets. Actually, as soon as I put that on, it was really, really comfy. How long do you reckon that your helmets last? I reckon they get about two and a half years out of mine. About that. I mean, they say that you, you should change them every five years, but 
they're protecting your head. You should replace them when you feel that you should Mine replace them. Mine smell a bit, so even though I wash them. Well, yeah, them, but so. there is a washing machine, and you can take everything out It makes such a it. noise when you put them in. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> but really, really good helmets. Um, I got mine from Sports Bike Shop. We're not sponsored or, or anything by them. Um, but they do good deals, and people that have used Sports Bike Shop know that if you buy something, you try it on, you can send it back. Just found another really, really negative, good. though. Oh, you can't get one of these yet. You can't yet. get you can't get one yet, and I don't think you'll be able to get one because yeah. the vent is so low to the bottom. I'm not sure that there's enough no. to get any purchase for it. But nice, both are nice. Yeah, I do like the helmets. It's so comfortable, and I haven't I haven't really no until you said when we were talking on the last video about this air cooling for the helmet on the old one. I can't remember ever thinking about it, but it'd be interesting to see whether it's any different on these ones, but. There we go. Love it, great helmet. Anyway, enough of me rambling on about yeah, how, sort of. how much I like my helmet, but they are good. Don't discount the cheaper helmets, go and try them on. I think helmets are a chalk and cheese thing, aren't they? You can spend a thousand pounds on a carbon fiber helmet and it'd be so uncomfortable that it's not worth wearing, is it? Absolutely not. You can spend 50 quid, if that's your budget, on a helmet that's really comfortable. And the main thing is that they all have to go through certain procedures, don't they, to be safe. They have to meet a standard. And it's your head at the end of the day. People often say, don't they, why are we spending 200 quid on a helmet when we should be spending six, 700 pounds? But it's not about the money, is it? It's about how comfortable it is, how it works, whether it falls apart, whether you're happy with it, and all the tests and, that they do in the manufacturing process. Hopefully, it will keep our head in one piece if we come off. Anyway, I don't know. on that happy note, yeah. if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Ride safe. Yeah, always ride safe. And we'll see you in a bit. See you soon.